This week on Canada in the Rough, we're moose hunting in Ontario. Hunting moose with archery equipment is one of the most exhilarating hunts you can take part in. And when that season finally rolls around in Ontario, you can bet we're out there chasing one of North America's largest big game animals. Not only is moose hunting during the rut a great time to get up close to these massive animals, but it's a time to get together with good friends and family and tell a few stories. This week, Kevin and Keith Beasley will be archery hunting with good friend Joe Dampier in Northern Ontario. With last year's unforgettable moose hunt where Paul harvested a great bull with his bow, we had to come back and try it again. Stay tuned as this week, the guys put the miles on and get off the beaten path to go after some rutted up Ontario moose. It must, it must be fall because we're in Thunder Bay. Yeah, <laughs> it's that time of year. <laughs> yes, it is. How are the moose doing? The rut on? Or? It's, you know what? I think that rut's just starting to kick in. Perfect. Uh, I think you're timing it awesome. Good stuff. The yeah. weather's been a little warm, though. It has is been it a little bit warm, but cool we've been having some cool evenings. Yeah, Good. so you know what? Hopefully, uh, we're going to have the same kind of action we had last year. Perfect. Well, we are ready. We got a truck full of gear. I'm sure you got some bags in here we can get ready. I got some gear we got to get out there. Let's go. I'll help you. All let's right, go. let's go. One of the things that I really enjoy about hunting for moose is that interaction, especially during the rut. You know, you can call to them, they're answering back. You know, it's not just one of those things where you sit there and you have to be quiet. You know, I'll usually start off with some soft cow calls, but I also believe in a lot of the extra, you know, subtleties, whether it's raking brush or, or breaking a stick at a certain time or walking in water, rather than just trying to throw out a call. It's a lot of fun and, you know, a lot of people are scared to try and, and I always, you know, tell people I do seminars for moose calling and I tell them, you know what, get out there and just try. You'd be surprised at the success you'll have and you'll learn every time you're out. being so thick and not being able to pinpoint the moose exactly, the group split up. Kevin and Joe took the east side of the island while Keith broke off and covered the west.
can't risk that shot. I barely had any vitals and I was waiting for him to turn left or right. And I needed to make sure my yardage was probably 35 or 40, but I needed to make sure because as soon as he turned, there was so much water, I needed to hit him right. And as soon as I made that move, he got onto me. Oh, that's the problem with getting them up tight like that is he can't get away with anything. Mm, look at him go away there now. Oh. This week we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of a mix of things. Uh, you know, sometimes we'll be setting up on a bay, and uh, we'll have both the guys set up, and I'll be calling, moving between them, trying to get a, a bull to come into them. Uh, other times, when the wind is up, we're going to have to, uh, you know, be a little more aggressive, try to get closer to the bulls, and uh, so that they can hear our call. So we'll be moving through the woods. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, hiking a couple of miles, uh, you know, trying to get our calls out to where those moose are.
As the last day of our Northern Ontario moose hunt arrived and the morning uneventful, the group split up in the afternoon to cover more ground. As Keith was glassing an old burn, he spotted a bull almost a mile away. With little time left, the stock was on.
you know, folks, for those of you who've joined us on this incredible journey and adventure we've been on with Canada Rough for the last eight seasons, you will know that it's all about the adventure and all about that true journey, about family, about friends, about getting outdoors and enjoying Mother Nature in all her beauty, because this is what it's about. That moment right there, it's about the hunt, but it's not always about pulling trigger, it's not always about making a harvest, it's about getting out here and just enjoying it, enjoying the journey, and that's what we did today. You know, I encountered a great big bull moose the other morning in the fog. He was right there at 30 yards, but I couldn't make a clean ethical shot that I felt good about. So this trip, we go home without a moose. That does happen sometimes. As much as hunters, we'd like to say it doesn't, it truly does. That's reality. But you know what? I will take memories that I will cherish forever off of this hunt because getting out there and bow hunting, getting up close and personal with these thousand plus pound animals, calling them, interacting with them, and getting outside and enjoying this, this is what it's all about. You know, if you haven't had the chance to do it, get out there with your bow and arrow and hunt moose, you've got to try it. I'm your host, Keith Beasley for Canada in the Rough. Remember to enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button and check out our other hunting and wildlife videos right here. Thanks for watching and remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of our hunting heritage.